fashion industry is worth over three trillion dollars and employs hundreds of millions of people. But it's also one of the most polluting industries on the planet and subjects people to the likes of forced and trafficked labor. Today, we're exploring how lovers of fashion, like me, can make sure that we're shopping sustainably. I have prepared a few quick fires, stuff that I'm dying to know. So, romantic night in or girls night out? Yes. Um, oyster, chocolate and wine or Five Guys and Pepsi? Oyster, chocolate and wine. Yeah. yeah. And one more, rom-com or horror film? Rom-com. Oh, Ooh, very different. A world without plastics is hard to imagine. They're in everything from our clothes to our cosmetics to things you wouldn't expect like chewing gum and tea bags. Over 8 million tonnes of plastic are dumped in our oceans every single year. And it makes you wonder, are we really doing enough to combat this issue? Let's find out. From mac and cheese pancakes to battered Mars bar pancakes, I'll be discovering some of the weird and the wonderful toppings that you can try at home. Ooh. <laughs> As a young Londoner, what do you do to recycle? Um, I think for me the most important thing is to have an understanding about what can actually go in recycling. And do you think there's enough information out there for people to understand how to best recycle? Um, I think it's okay, but there should be more. Like obviously there is. Last week saw the biggest night in the British music industry. Yes, the Brit Awards. Lewis Capaldi was the evening's biggest winner, taking home two trophies for Best New Artist and Best Single. On a night filled with tears, cheers, and more dancers than the finale of Grease.